Second night of a back-to-back -back for the Sixers. They didn't get into town until about 1.30 in the morning. How do they fare against a Mavericks team that is going to be motivated, to say the least, and a good start for Kyrie as he hits his first mid-range jumper. Into the torture chamber. Doncic the kick. Irving wide open. Kyrie wants to play fast. A lot of give and goes. Dribble handoffs. And we talked about being methodical. That's how oh. Luka plays and has always played. This is what makes it easier. Yes. Look at Kyrie. Look at that. Look at Lefty that. scoop a thing of beauty. And we talked to Jason Kidd before the game, and you certainly get the sense that he wants to play faster. As Irving, boy, he is motivated, and he is starting to cook here at the start. Reggie knew the way that the game ended the other night with Kyrie missing that last second shot against Indiana and lost that he was going to come out quickly. That's exactly what's happened. And a good start for Kyrie with 10 points. And five and change to begin this one. Yeah, I felt a year ago he came into camp. He wasn't in the best of shape and I kind of got on him. He got into shape as the season went on and they went on a run to the Western Conference Finals. Three point check. Second game back for the German national after he missed those 35 games with the hamstring tear. Melton, no. Embiid. Oh, Irving, brief little rest to close the quarter. Oh, no. Irving <laughs> taking him to the schoolyard. <laughs> this is Irving against Melton. What a matchup between those two. Kyrie, that's a rare miss. Maxi averaging a shade under 20 points per game. It's crazy to think he's still only 22 years old. Harris ripped away by Irving. They're going to have a chance to catch Milwaukee, who just continues to steamroll the competition. 16 straight, I believe it is. Think about it. Sixers have three games left against Milwaukee and Boston. Two against the Bucks, including the one this weekend, and then one more against the Celtics. So they will have opportunities team that's in the mix as well but doing it without LeBron James who will be reevaluated after three weeks on the foot injury so Melton back to his reserve role for his second straight night he's got eight points off the bench Irving <laughs> my goodness lowest scoring average for Tobias Harris have to go all the way back to 2015 as Irving catches shoot splash how Reggie going to be so huge for Dallas? Will they be good enough with their defense? He's such a huge part of that. Doncic just trying to walk it off. Kyrie takes the reins. Green left open. That's good. Walk into Jason Kidd's rotation. Middle of last season. And he's become a, a key piece. Melton short. And he's become a, a key piece. Melton short. Kyrie! That was a heat check there by Kyrie. Nice hustle there by Green. Sixers out of fouls. Irving into the corner. This is Luka. Baseline. Masterful. Look at another question. Which of these two teams can tighten the clamps a little bit with their defense? Irving. Just magical. Stephanie, we're with you. We're all mesmerized by what we're seeing. Just unbelievable. Maxi going off glass, and they continue to trade punches. Irving coming back for more, and the loose change corralled by Powell. Doncic, Irving, splash. Mavericks have hit their first four shots to begin the second half. This is Bullock from the corner, and they still can't miss. Better results. Well, can the Sixers answer? This is Bullock. They've left him open, and he's starting to cook. Kyrie carving him up, looking for more. Oh, Splits yeah. two. Oh, man. He just can't be stopped. And that has been the surprise. Just one in four. When those two have been healthy since the Irving trade on February the 6th. Okay, this has been a different story tonight. 
All right, Stephanie and Reggie referenced it earlier, that 27-point blown lead Sunday to the Lakers. No lead is safe, and here comes Philly, showing some life. So here's Irving. 29 points in what has been a brilliant night for him. Not that time. Remember, he took a little flag for not calling timeouts in the second half of that game against the Lakers. He called a couple of here. That is Irving putting him on his back. Because you don't want Dallas to go on a little, you know, 7-0 run and get this back to double digits. Bring back my MVP candidate. He was off last night. He didn't play last night. So he, if anyone should be fresh, it should be MB. As Hardaway goes inside, this is Irving against Maxi. He'll launch. My goodness. The Dallas kid coming back home. And he is doing it for the Sixers. This is Irving. Short. Tyrese Maxey, 20 of his 22 points in the second half. Bad pass by Harden. Ahead of the field, Green taking flight. Tyrese Maxey, 20 of his 22 points in the second half. Bad pass by Harden. Ahead of the field, Green taking flight. Harris against Doncic. Madam Melton, open three. Too much. During halftime, this is when Jalen Brunson and turnover here by Kyrie. What a play by Melton ahead of the field. Maxi. A lot of contact there. Do they have one more push left? Into the corner they give to Maxi. He has been sensational. Couldn't put it down. And Irving with a rip. Boy, Kyrie getting on the glass. Transition three. He has been magnificent. Irving. Into the paint. He almost wheeled them back into the ball game himself in that fourth quarter. Maxi just incredible. What was a frantic final push by the Sixers, but it's still concerning. I mean, to be up 27 and lose to the Lakers and to be up 25